In the name of gain and profit for one's nation and village, Shinobi have hated and hurt each other for many years, from the first to the third great ninja wars and the conflicts in between. All of that hatred cried out for power, thus I was born. In the past I was hatred, and power, and a Jinchuriki. I hated this world and all its people, and thought about destroying both. But then, a single shinobi from the Hidden Leaf Village stopped me. He cried for me. I was his enemy, yet still he cried for me. And he called me his friend, even though we had battled. He saved me. We were on different sides, but we were both Jinchuriki. Between those who have experienced the same pain, there can be no hate! There are no enemies here now, because each one of us bears the pain of having been hurt by the Akatsuki. Now there is only... Shinobi! The friend I spoke of who saved me is the target of our enemy! If he falls into their hands, our world's finished. I want to protect my friend. And I want to protect this entire world! I am too young and inexperienced to do that. So I ask you, all of you, please lend me your strength for this fight! You got it! Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Iceman. We're back again with another video. Today, I know it's been a mile. Oh, it's been a mile. It's been a while. And I need to consistently start back uploading. We're going to work on that. Just had a lot going on and uh, yeah. So, we're going to talk about Naruto and Gaara's relationship. Naruto and Gaara's relationship started off very rocky. As we know that with the destruction of the Hidden Leaf Village that happened in part one of Naruto, uh, Gaara was kind of the main antagonizing force when it came to that because he was the tail beast in jerky that was attacking the village and naruto was the one defending it and during their fight naruto and gara they talked and gara came to understand that naruto is his enemy but he's crying for him uh, gara had the realization that naruto was crying for him because naruto understood exactly what Gar had to go through growing up, being seen as a monster. So with that, Gar kind of had a change of heart. And he then wanted to see Naruto as one of the best friends he's ever had. And that's how he treated Naruto from then all the way on, even into Boruto. Gar remains to be a loyal friend, a loyal ally to the Leaf Village because of that one instant. At the beginning of Shippen, Gara is snatched by the Akatsuki. He loses a fight against Datara after, you know, basically proving himself to be a competent Kage to the, his whole village. He actually loses a fight against Datara and then he gets snatched by the Akatsuki. And long story short, he ends up losing his life. Granny Chio and Naruto distribute chakra to him to basically bring him back. Granny Chio loses her life and Gara comes back. So Gara comes back, he's reinstated as Kage Kage and before the Leech Village Ninja that came to aid him leave, he stopped and shook Naruto's hand. And the first time I watched the show, I didn't realize it, but about the fourth time I went through the show, I realized that when he was shaking Naruto's hand, it wasn't just a friend shaking each other's hand because, you know, thanks. He was shaking Naruto's hand, recognizing Naruto as the next leader to, to lead beside him from the Leech Village. He was shaking his hand as future Hokage. And he was doing that in front of his entire village. Because just about the entire Sand Village was out, came back out to meet with Gara after the whole situation because they they were worried about him. And now he has all these people that love him and worry about him because of the change of heart he had. So he feels even deeper with this friendship with Naruto. I always thought it was a little weird how devoted Gara came became to Naruto afterwards. But if you really just look into it, inspect a little further. It makes sense why. Gara kind of went from having nothing and nobody, and suddenly he had this one person, this one person on the planet that could understand exactly what he had to go through, exactly how he felt being a Jinchuriki. So that took a lot of weight off his own shoulders and gave him somebody else that he could talk to and confide in about this. 
he doesn't really do that in the show, but in his mind, he's, he has a friend. He has one true friend. And he can realize now that the people around him, like his siblings, for instance, actually care about him. Outside of, you know, his father trying to have him killed when he was a, a baby. So, uh, yeah, that was the relationship between Naruto and Gara. Kind of explaining it. Like, this is the reason why Gara feels what he feels about Naruto. And, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll uh, tune in. You know, in future videos, our giveaway is still going on. Nobody has won anything yet. So just know, just look out for that code in my gameplay. The code will be in my gameplay. So look out for that code word and then join the Discord and get at me. With that being said, stay cool. Got the moments where I'm booty. Y'all was judging me like Judy. Based my story off like Rudy's. Put your statement off like Cooties. Talking battle rapping, God. I hear that beast and hear a beauty. That's a plot, now here's a twist.